Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me in a new video. So in today's video, I'm finally working in pastels again. It's been a while, so I'm very excited for this project. I am doing a, a sea, so some waves in the sea. I shot this reference photo in Greece in May and uh, I was there with my boyfriend and we were on roads and we did a boat trip to a lovely town named Lindos so the sea was so blue so I took my camera and I shot a whole bunch of reference photos a few of those are available on patreon as royalty free reference photos this one as well and the real-time tutorial of this drawing will be on patreon as well um, I think somewhere next week so check it out if you're interested and I'm just getting started with the base layers. I'm working with my Koinor self pastels again, and I'm using pastel matte paper around A5 size, so about eight by, um, about six by nine inches, I, I think. And I'm just starting off with the base layers. When drawing water, it's super important to, uh, to get the contrast ri right. So it's all about the contrast. So I did a, a base layer of blue first and then I already started to put in those waves so a few of those waves were casting quite a dark shadow so I'm putting those in by using multiple shades of blue I'm trying to get as many blues in there as possible and also some purpley tones because of course the water is never completely blue water is never blue it's just a reflection of uh, the surrounding areas like the sky so that's why the sea looks blue but of course there are so many different colors in there I'm working with a set of 48 pastels which is not a super big set but it's enough for me and of course the Koinor set is pretty cheap too so they're very lovely uh, pastels very great quality for not a lot of money so I would recommend them to anyone who wants to start working with pastels and after these base layers I also put in some black so I don't recommend to use black a lot especially not in landscapes because it can make your drawing look flat pretty quickly but as I didn't have a super dark blue to work with I just put some black on my finger and uh, tapped it on and that way you get a you, you don't get a really a black black but the black turns into a dark blue or a dark gray so I like to use that technique just putting some black on my finger and tapping it on so after putting putting in all the base layers so the blues and a bit of the black I started adding in some highlights so for that I used the very lightest blue from the set and also some some white later on. So I saved the white pastel for, for the very last because um, highlights are never completely white. I put in the, the medium highlights with the light blue and then for the very brightest highlights at the end I used the white. So I used those zigzag motions and then you get the texture of the waves. And then after about one and a half hours, this drawing was done. So the real-time version will be on Patreon. And then I just removed the tape and that was it. So I had a lot of fun doing this study. I hope you enjoyed it. And a uh, lot more pastel studies will follow. I'm really excited to work in pastels again. So I hope you're excited too. If you like this drawing, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends if you think it's informative and yeah then i want to thank you very much for watching leave a comment what do you think of it and then i'll see you in the next video bye bye